Um, hi. Hello guys. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Nikki and this is my book nook. Y'all, today we are talking about another Colleen Hoover book. One of her latest releases, if not her latest release, it came out in 2020. We are talking about Heartbones. Um, first of all, right off the bat, this cover, it's kind of hard to see in the daylight. So pretty, so different from all her other books. I love the aesthetic of it. But um, yes, Heartbones. So many things to say about Heartbones. This book is a summer romance. Um, it follows a girl named Bea. She basically has grown up. Her parents split up when she was very young. She was the result of a one night stand. She's really never had a relationship with her father because her parents never really even had a relationship. I say split up, but like it didn't exist. Um, her mother has been a drug addict her entire life. Um, she's lived in a not very great situation and the book starts out and her mother has uh, passed away. She's overdosed and she basically has nowhere to go, nothing to do. She's graduated from college and she actually has a volleyball scholarship to a college in Pennsylvania coming up, but like for the summer, she has nowhere to go, nothing to do, no money. So she calls up her dad and is like, hey, um, I know we haven't talked in forever, but can I come stay with you for the summer? And he's like, yeah, sure, absolutely. Like he's tried to kind of have a relationship with her, but like they live on opposite sides of the country. Every like year or so they'd see each other, but they'd kind of like lost touch over the last few years. Basically like he tries, but you know, th there's just not really a relationship there to be had. So so she calls him up and he says like yes you can come stay with me but she doesn't uh let him know hey by the way uh, my mom is uh kind of dead uh she just decides not to tell him and he books a flight for her she ends up going to texas galveston texas actually kind of area which is really cool because i'm from houston and like have been to that area a million times so it was really fun for me to like see that setting and everything going on there um colleen hoover is also from texas so I love the representation there, Miss Coho. Basically, yeah, like Bea goes to Houston, her dad picks her up, brings her to their new beach house. He is now newly married, and as it turns out, he's gotten fairly wealthy in the last few years. Um, he lives in this fat beach house, like literally right on the beach. Bea now has a new stepsister and she is super welcoming to Bea, super sweet. She has a boyfriend who is also staying at the beach and they are friends with this guy, Samson, who lives next door. Bea and Samson end up kind of having a weird run-in before they actually are introduced. So she already has met him and now she's meeting him a second time. Samson lives next door at another fat house. He's staying there like watching over his family's like several rental houses. He's super wealthy and Bea and Samson end up kind of having this little thing, right? Bea and Samson end up forming this sort of like connection between the two of them. Even though it, got, it starts off to a very rocky start, I'm gonna be honest like, I didn't love Bea as a character. Like I said, she's come from like a very rough background, but she just is not a very pleasant person. She's very like hardened. She's very just like judgmental and pretty much hates everybody, especially anybody that has like a penny to their name, anybody that's wealthy, she just instantly hates them. And like, I can't, obviously like, I'm sure if I was in that situation, I would probably hate everybody too. I get it. But like, it's not like the most like enjoyable character to read, I found myself like really not vibing with her very much. She was really just kind of like rude and unappreciative to her dad, even though he like flew her out and like was just very rude and judgmental to Samson right off the bat. And like even Sarah, her stepsister, who's being like so kind to her, she's just right off the bat assuming that she's like a rich girl and like has everything and whatever, she's a mean girl, blah, blah, blah. Um, and so her and Samson like don't get off to a great start. Like I said, Bay is kind of like rude and judgmental and Samson is just very kind of like quiet and he's very just kind of like private and secretive and like he doesn't give you much to work with. So when Bay is just like being rude to him and he's like saying nothing back, she's like, bro, what's wrong with you? Like, you know, riff with me a little bit here. And so at first, yeah, they, they aren't vibing, but then all of a sudden they kind of start vibing and um, Bea is going off to college again to play volleyball and Samson also has a commitment at the end of the summer He's going into the military. So they agree to have like a summer a summer thing a summer fling and No strings attached into the summer. We'll say goodbye, whatever And you know, it's a tale as old as time you can you can you can guess what happens uh, feelings are had things happen 
that doesn't seem like a great idea anymore, but what are they gonna do about it? Blah, blah, blah. I don't wanna give spoilers, um, but as always, like there's a fat Colleen Hoover twist that just stabs you in the gut and she just twists the knife and it hurts. Um, I flew through this book very quickly as always like Colleen Hoover she makes books impossible to put down um, I'm gonna be honest though like it's I didn't love it it was good it's a little fun I don't know if fun's actually quite the right word <laughs> um, it's a good little quick easy summer romance to read but in the end like it's my least favorite Colleen Hoover book that I've read I gave it three and a half stars just because like like I said, I didn't love Bea. She did have some character development. Like the story was like interesting. The idea that like, oh, her mom has died and she's like not gonna tell anybody. And like seeing her relationship with her dad kind of like blossom a little bit. And some of her moments with Samson like were very cute. But like overall, I like, I didn't love her. And I didn't love Samson. I feel like Every other Colleen Hoover book, she just like makes you fall in love with her characters, especially her like men. Like they are just written in a way that they're just like, they're always, there's always something to them. They always have a quirk. They're either like really sarcastic or they're really just like smooth or I don't know. She just makes you fall in love and they're all so unique and they're so different. I personally just like didn't vibe as much or fall in love with Samson as I have for other characters. Like I said, he was really kind of quiet. Um, I didn't feel like the intense chemistry and connection between Bea and Samson that I have with some of her other characters. I mean like Miles and Tate in Ugly Love literally knock me out. Like some of the, her relationships, you can like feel the love through the freaking pages. You're like, yes, like I'm in this, like I, I love them both. Didn't really feel that with Bea and Samson as much, but like, like I said, it was still cute. Um, I also didn't love, I mean, like I said, the plot twist did stab me in the gut and it hurt, but I didn't, I didn't like it. Like I didn't love it. Um, I don't know. It was good. Like I'm not, like I'm still gonna recommend this to you. Um, if you like Colleen Hoover, like totally read this book. You'll like it. It just wasn't my, most favorite. I just didn't feel like it like slapped as hard as some of her other books, but you know, it was something different. Not everyone can be the same. Not everyone can be just like a total five star. She's got to switch it up. I don't know how she continues to just come up with more stories, more characters, more plot twists, like her mind. I will never understand it, but um, yeah, I'm going to continue to read every single one of her books and yeah, I would love to hear y'all's thoughts. If you read Heartbones, what did you think about it? Um, did you vibe with Bea and Samson more than I did? What did you think of the plot twist? Maybe don't read the comments if you haven't read the book yet. But yeah, that is it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all later with hopefully another Coho book very soon. <laughs> Bye!